Hey guys, I'm Media Bottle, just Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We're obviously in a big lull right now across the West with this giant ridge of high pressure steering all the storms up into Alaska, BC, Canada. Eventually that'll change, but this may last another nine or ten days. Um, I do think we're going to have some pattern changes ahead, probably on or after 1023. So, I mean, that's at least 10 days off. And it's possible snow falls with that change between 1023 and potentially 1027 or even after that. It, it, it could go after that. But let me just show you what I'm thinking about as far as uh, all this goes. First of all, when it's nice to see the snow uh, making start here in Colorado. Uh, that's a picture of what a base and they just did a little a little spot there, obviously lower on the mountain. Um, just getting things rolling there at a base and Loveland did the same thing today. I actually talk about that in my uh, my blog today. Um, I show a picture and there it is. That's Parker the snow dog, Dustin Schaefer. Um, it's part it's Parker. It's his dog up there at Loveland Ski Area. And he was up there supervising. They started making some snow as well up there off of Chet's Dream. Yeah, great to see that. You know, they would hope to open by mid-October. That's obviously not the, the not going to happen this time around. They'll likely open by late October, especially if we get this pattern change by the end of the month. Temperatures have just been warm, too warm around the clock. But now we're starting to see some good overnight temperatures, more ideally around that 26 with uh, clear skies so you can get that wet bulb to match but um, you know that's what we're seeing at this point let me just show you what the big picture here is and what in the world's going on so the jet's running way up here and then it's ridging down across the west in, in a kind of looks like this so there's your jet there's your flow um, all the weather is kind of going up and around and missing the west but the key here is you're looking at the key let me show you so there's a low, there's a low, there's a low, there's a low. All of this out here in the Pacific will start to do um, the magic. We'll start to will start to affect this high pressure. Which let me just mark the high. So here it is, big ridge of high pressure, abnormally warm and dry across the West. These lows will start to affect this high. We'll start to one by one break it down a little bit or weaken it and then eventually dislodge it because this energy coming in on the back side will swing in as well. You see this low, all this energy will keep swinging in like spokes on a wheel and eventually that may help to dislodge the high. At least that's the theory at this point or the hypothesis down the road starting on the 23rd or 24th, somewhere in there, we may start to move this area of high pressure. And I talked about that in my, my update this morning. ChrisTomer.com, if you, please subscribe to this if you haven't. Um, will it snow? I talked about some of the bullet points as far as I can see, uh, my own personal opinion. The net result would be snow and colder temps for Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Banff, and the Pacific Northwest if this pattern change happens. Uh, I walk you through it, exactly what we're seeing now and what may lie ahead. I also look back to Alta, October of last year at this time. There was a big shift in the pattern, not unlike this one, potentially. And this one happened a little bit earlier. Uh, we had like 12, 13, 14 inches, and it all started after the 7th, but there was a nice little shot of snow with the storm on the 13th, 12, 13th. that dropped over a foot, and you can see that they actually ended the month with 67 inches of snow, way above the norm, two to three x, two to three times the norm. Average October snow at, at Alta is 28 and a half inches. So that ended up being a good October um, last year at uh, Alta. I also address uh, La Nina. It's holding strong. The latest values came in for the MEI, and that's the uh, multivariate index, which measures like five different variables out in the Pacific. It's 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 really comprehensive. Uh, it's at minus 1.8, and I kind of go into um, why that's important. It's the strongest still since 2010. Um, and this is a triple dipper, so um, this thing is still, you know, it's a strong, and this is the strongest dip of the three right now. Uh, unprecedented, really, when you, when you think of that. And then I take a look at the pattern change, and I do think, you know, if we can dislodge the high, weaken it, uh, we'll get a nice trough across the west or dip in the pressure pattern. 
replacing that high potentially would you get that dip in the, in the jet or the buckles you can bring in some snow and the gfs the global forecast system is optimistic um, it thinks that we could have waves of snow between the 23rd and the 27th or even thereafter and when you look at the pna it is also in agreement with that we're obviously under a big ridge across the west now and seeing a lot of plus readings but it may take a dip uh 23 24 25 26 27 28 somewhere in there and potentially if that happens we could easily set up a snowy colder pattern across the west certainly uh, strikingly different than what we have now so that's what i'm hoping and that's what we're all looking forward to hopefully we can uh, we can make that happen so thank you for tuning in here i'll keep things updated as uh, they change here over the next few days always appreciate it take care